For many people, carving a pumpkin is a Halloween tradition, but some firefighters in Center County have developed their own unique custom. It's called Pumpkin Chunkin. Our John Traeger explains what it is and why they do it. The Foster Joseph Sayers Reservoir sits along the mountains of Bald Eagle State Park. It's used as a calm getaway spot for local residents, but for one fall Saturday, it's the subject of target practice. Oh, it's a blast. We have a, we have a real hoot. We just love throwing pumpkins. The 14th annual Pumpkin Chunkin' Fall Festival gives fans a spectacle to see gourds of all kinds being thrown into the lake by different contraptions. It's the biggest fundraiser of the year for its hosts, the Howard Volunteer Fire Company, raising around $30,000 a year. We were doing fundraisers before this, and if we'd make $350, it was a good day. But this really offsets our skyrocketing cost to operate. Visitors had their choice to roam the vendor section or watch pumpkins fly through the sky. It's actually made people more familiar with the lake, our little town, the shops over there. So. I believe it's a win-win the whole way around. Pumpkin Chunkin features a lot of different machinery from parts of the Northeast. These start out as projects from home builders that doesn't take one day nor a week to build. It took about a summer's worth of weekends with the dads coming together and putting the Cub Scouts to work. I built, built the mainframe in maybe a month, but months and months of fine-tuning. Sizes and styles varies from air cannons to medieval-style slings. And with alternating contraptions on the east and west ports, I had a chance to sling one. one. Oh. Nice shot. As for the ammunition, the pumpkins were donated by a local Amish farm. Deemed non-edible, the four to 10 pound gourds are launched into the lake, later to be fished out of the water. They get trucked back over to the Amish farm and they feed them to their animals. It's full circle. The event takes the fire department and pumpkins to new heights. In Center County, I'm John Draco, WTAJ News.